I've cried so many nights, so many days. Sometimes I'm driving and I remember and I cry and I beg God for his justice and for other kids. A parent will call Susan is coming forward tonight demanding justice. She tells Action 4 News her five-year-old daughter was sexually assaulted while attending Excellence in Leadership Academy by a staff member. She says her daughter came home saying her private parts hurt. I asked her when I was bathing her, I, I asked her what had happened and she didn't complain anymore and she said, well, um, nothing happened, mommy. And I say, what do you mean nothing happened? And she's like, um, oh yeah, I already went to the doctor. And I said, what doctor? There is no doctor in school. And she's like, uh, well, it's not a doctor. Uh, it was Mr. Lopez. And the mother immediately began asking her daughter more questions, trying to get answers. Susan says that Dr. Lopez, she mentioned, is a staff member of the school. She claims she has taken her concerns to the principal, but there has been no response yet. And in the middle or in the hallway, she, I mean, um, she was uh, pulled by Ms. Mr. Lopez or, or I don't know. I don't know what happened there. I don't know what happened there. All I know is that she was telling me that Mr. Lopez was acting as a doctor. Uh, and then this was in the big office with the big window that there used to be. I, um, I don't think there is anymore. And, uh, and then after that, I guess he took her to the restroom and that's when he pulled her underwear down to supposedly put some medicine. Mission Interim Police Chief Robert Dominguez confirms they've been investigating this case since September and that an ointment was confiscated from the school. The chief says they're waiting for key forensic evidence found on the little girl's clothing to see if there's a possible link to the cream they obtained from their investigation. Uh, a lot of these cases do t take a lot of time to put together. Um, I'm hoping to have some type of uh, closure to this case in the coming months. Uh, unfortunately, you know, uh, with the the submission of these evidence uh, to the labs and so forth, they do take some time to come forth. Uh, however, like I said, we're still proceeding forward with the investigation. Interim Chief Rodriguez says he hopes to bring closure to this case within the next couple of months.